I know, I look young. Black don't crack, Asian no raisin. That's right, I'm 136 years old. But you know what? They got a name for me. They got a name for me, Black and Asian. They call me Blasian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you hear all the white women? Oh, yeah. They love Blasian dudes. Because I'm a starter Black. <laughs> I'm a gateway drug to Blackness. I'm like weed for white women, you know what I mean? <laughs> they start with me and they wind up with James down here. <laughs> it's tough being Blasian, man. The struggle's real. Because you have two polar opposites in one body. You got black and Asian in one body. Always fighting, never getting along. <laughs> You've seen the movie Rush Hour, right? <laughs> I am Rush Hour, people. <laughs> I can't do simple things without fighting with myself. Like my girl would get nasty sometimes. She'd be like, hey, send me a dirty pic. My black side's like, yeah. Send that. My Asian side is like, oh no, could be trouble. <laughs> the struggle's real being Blasian. <laughs> or mixed. Cause no matter where I go, nobody knows what I am. That's when they call me what they want. Yeah. I go to Miami, they're like, hey, you're Puerto Rican. <laughs> I go to New York, they're like, you're Dominican. I go to Hawaii, they're like, welcome home. <laughs> I was born and raised in Houston, Texas. I went to an all-white school in Houston, Texas. A lot of people don't believe me, so look at that right there. <laughs> there I am. I love going to an all-white school, though, you know? I loved it. I got my personality. I got my sense of humor. I learned how to take a joke. And trust me, I heard every stereotypical joke you could hear about being half black and Asian. Like a kid came up to me and went, hey, yo, you know you're the only guy that can steal a car <laughs> and wreck it on the way home. <laughs> That's impossible, man. You know how hard it is to steal a car with flip-flops and socks on? Come on now. 